guys, welcome back to another video. This video today is going to be very different from my normal videos. So if you don't know David Goggins, this is David Goggins, this is his story. To try to become the one thing I was afraid of, a Navy SEAL. That day, I started calling recruiters up. And for two weeks, this happened. This recruiter laughed at me, that recruiter laughed at me, this recruiter said, there's no way. And every time I heard a no, I said, no, it's not meant to be. So I get back in my car and start driving back to work. And after I'd be at work for a few hours, man, I said, man, you can't give up that easy. So I finally said, this is my last call I'm gonna make. He was real busy. He said, just come on in. People don't walk in the office trying to be a Navy SEAL weighing 297 pounds. You walk in looking the way I look now. So he brought me back to a scale. And I remember looking in front of me was a height weight chart. For me, I'm six foot one. I could only weigh 191. I had to lose 106 pounds in less than three months. So I went on this crazy, crazy, crazy routine and eating hardly nothing. And in less than three months, I lost 106 pounds. So basically, to summarize, David Goggins is a motivational speaker, he's a Navy SEAL, and before joining the Navy SEAL, he devised this workout, this daily workout, uh, which I'm gonna follow for a day. He lost 100 pounds in three months. That's not what I want, but I will follow it to see how far can I go, how many calories I burn, and see basically the effects that this has in my body. Let the torture begin. 434, I don't know if you can see it. And before I get on the bike, eating a banana. It's too early for this. Last bite. Let's go. I have to be on the bike at 5 a.m. Yeah. Man, this guy's crazy. Let's go. As I don't have an exercise bike, I'm gonna just have to use this one. Just about close to six, so I'm gonna return now. Look at the empty streets, it's too early. Yeah, not even light yet. So I'm gonna return home now and wait for my next exercise. See you in a bit. If you can't see it, it's 6.03 a.m. And now I'm supposed to study and that works out just fine because I'm doing a course, so I'll just do the assignment needed. And yeah, basically until 7 I'm supposed to study. And then at 8 I'm going for a run because in the exercise it says swim for 2 miles, but I don't have access to a swimming pool now uh, in Portugal. So yeah, I'm gonna just run for five kilometers which should it's not the best math but should go to the correct amount okay so it's about almost 8 a.m. So it's time to go for my run. So I'm going to do 5k run. So it should be quick. But for me, 5k, it should be less than 30 minutes, ideally. I haven't run in a while, but if I'm still in shape, it should be those numbers. So I'll see you guys in a bit.
guys, this was my time. Uh, obviously not a great time, but I'm not trying to burn out. I still have a lot of things to do today. And for someone who hasn't run in a while, it was decent. Uh, not decent, but good enough, I guess. Okay, just got home. And if you guys have been noticing, I'm not listening to any music because um, Goggins doesn't agree with music. He says like motivation has to come from within. Listen to music when you run? Never. Mm -hmm. Never. I usually, when I work out, I always use music because it drives me. But today I'm doing like him, so I'm not going to use it. And I just got home and it's 9 a.m. currently. Ooh. You can see that, okay, and yeah, at, now I have about two hours to kill, to eat something, and at 11 a.m. I'm going to the gym for a full body workout, and I'll film that as well to show you guys. So I just finished the workout. Uh, I did about 100 reps in every exercise uh, and I asked my friends to film it and now we're gonna go home have a little rest have some food and then we get right back up to the next exercise. I think it's gonna be a bike ride or something like that. We'll see. Hello again guys. It's currently 3.42 it's almost four 
So I'm gonna go for another bike ride. I'm feeling very tired about now, to be honest, after that gym session. But yeah, let's get it. Oh my God, the day is never over. just got back I'm so tired like this whole day has been so tiring but yeah, actually my muscles are aching I need a massage so in half an hour it's 5 at the moment 5 p.m. so in half hour I'm going for the last run of the day but then I still have a cycling session later on I think it's after dinner yeah Okay guys, that's it. It's already close to 8, 8 p.m. So I'm gonna go to get my bike and get that last one done because at 10 30 I have to be sleeping. So I'm gonna get this last few miles in, kilometers in. I don't know how we did this every day to be honest and eating almost nothing, you know. I'm eating normally, so that part I'm fine. But yeah. Let's go! So, guys, as you can see, I'm already in bed. It was a long day. It's currently, oops. Yeah, 10.15, but um, I finished the challenge. I spent about 3,500 calories. And overall, it was a good challenge very tired so I'm gonna go to bed now I'll give you more thoughts on it later see you guys so final thoughts overall it was a very difficult day I was tired all the time no amount of food can make me feel energized to the next workout and I was sore for two days after very tired my legs were completely destroyed especially yeah especially the legs in this in the gym session that you see in the video I have no energy throughout the whole session because of the amount of cardio I was doing in the morning. So I really commend the guy from doing this every day. It really takes a lot of hard work and self-motivation to get there. But for me, I'm good with my workouts. I'm good with the way I exercise. So it was a, a cool experience and I hope I do more in the future like this. And I hope you guys enjoyed as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys, thank you very much for watching, see you on the next one.